today I'm here looking at this GoPro of my parents. My father has said to me that he can't ride this scooter down to the shopping centre and back anymore without the batteries going flat. And honestly, the shopping centre is only five minutes away from his house. So I'm going to have a look at this scooter and have a look inside of it. My father's been quoted by the scooter company $500 to change the batteries. Now I'm going to guess that when I open this scooter, there's going to be some sort of sealed lead acid batteries inside of this scooter. And what I've done is I've brought my uh, CTEC MXS 5.0 battery charger over here with me. And like you've seen in some of my other videos, I'm going to try, if I can, to use my CTEC charger on this scooter and to rejuvenate or recondition the batteries. But first of all, I've got to open up the scooter and I've got to look to see what type of batteries are in it and then we'll make some sort of an assessment. Okay. So as we can see, this scooter has got two batteries inside of it. What type of these? Now, I'll have a bit of a closer look and let's actually have a look at what type of batteries these are. Then I'll make a decision as to what we can do with respect to trying to charge and or recondition these batteries. Okay, just the Velcro strap holds them in. That one can come out. And I'll go find a shifter and we will get a shifter onto that to undo that battery. Okay, so we can see that this is some sort of a GF1225Y battery. It's a 12 volt, 25 amp hour battery, and it's a motive power maintenance free gel technology. So what I'm going to try to do is looking at this battery, I'm going to use my CTEC MXS 5.0 charger and I'm going to use it in the recondition mode. Because it's just a gel battery, I am going to use it in the normal mode. I'm not going to select the AGM mode of the charger. And because it's saying it's a 28 slash 25 amp hour battery, I am going to use the car setting. Now this is an interesting thing. In my experience, I've tended to be quite conservative as to when I use the car setting of the CTEC charger and I've, I haven't been able to see anything officially documented from CTEC on what uh, dictates to go between the motorcycle setting and the car setting but roughly because it's a 5 amp um, charger in the car setting I have kind of come up with this rule of thumb myself that anything less than 14 amp hours I use the motorcycle anything greater than 14 amp hour batteries I use the car setting so that's what I'm going to do here today I'm going to use the car setting on this battery I'm going to put it in recondition mode but I am not going to select the AGM setting because this is not an AGM battery obviously the black goes on the negative and the red goes on the positive CTEC charge here I'll just plug that into the power And switch that on. So initially upon switching it on you can see it's the last time I used it, it must have been in the motorcycle mode. So I'm going to just press the mode button and cycle it through the different modes until I get to the motor. So I've got the car mode now lit up but I also want to get the recon. So I'll keep pressing the mode button. There we go. So we've got the car recon. Now I'll just put this down over here to one side. Now on top of this battery, it actually says, it's got this cap across the top, that on it, it says do not open. So this is meant to be a sealed for life uh, battery that never needs to be topped up. So I'm just gonna leave that 
um, with that top on it. Got the charger in the recon mode, and I reckon this is going to take you know several hours. So I'll probably come back in about five hours' time, and we'll check on the progress to see where it's up to, and see how this charge is going. So I've come back to see how this reconditioning is going on this uh, scooter battery, which I'm reconditioning with my CTEP MXS 5.0 battery charger. And as you can see that it is clearly, it's in the cycle of the uh, mode six at the moment. I've got that charger set, as I showed you before, on the car and recondition mode. And that mode six, or step six, I should say, that corresponds to that recondition mode. So it's been about five or six hours now, and it's still going. So I'm just gonna let that uh, probably go overnight and I'll come back tomorrow morning and see how that's going. We have a listen. There's absolutely no bubbling sound coming out of that battery. So quite happy that I've chosen the car mode, which is going to be delivering, I think it's up to five amps. Let's have a look on the uh, manual there. So in the, uh, the car recon mode, it's max 15 amp volts, 1.8 amps actually. So we'll, we'll come back and we'll see how that goes. Come back tomorrow morning and see how that uh, CTEC charger has gone. So it's the following day. I've come back to inspect how the rejuvenation, reconditioning is going of this uh, scooter battery here. And just checking on the uh, CTEC charger. You can see that green light on step number seven has come on now, where the green light corresponds to the uh, float stage of the charging. So effectively that tells that the reconditioning has finished on this scooter battery, on this GF12 25Y 25 amp hour scooter battery. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna swap the charger over onto the other battery and put it in recondition mode and let that go. So exactly the same as I did for the first battery, I have disconnected the second battery completely from the scooter. I have then connected the positive terminal of the battery to the red lead from the CTEC charger and the negative terminal of the battery to the black connector of the CTEC charger. And then you can see that straight away my CTEC charger, it has remembered the previous setting and it's got the car and the recondition mode. And you can also see they must be actually quite good charge. Whilst these batteries don't have capacity left in them to go very far, it's already up to stage four. So what I'll do is I'll leave this. I'll come back, I'm gonna leave it probably for a whole day. I know that it took essentially 18 hours or so to charge the first, first battery. So I'll come back tomorrow and we'll uh, inspect how the charge has gone and then I'll take it for a test drive and see how far the scooter will actually get. So it's been a day and I've come back to this mobility scooter where I'm restoring these 12 volt batteries, the second one, and you can see that the CTEC charger clearly has the number 7 light lit up. It's been on the car recon mode and it shows that the charger is finished doing the reconditioning cycle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook back the batteries to the scooter I'm going to take it for a little test ride and let's see how far we can actually get with this scooter. Okay, so we've got the scooter reassembled, got the key for the scooter. Let's see uh, if the scooter is actually going to run. Excellent. So we turn the key on and I'll just show you that. You can see with the scooter switched on, we've got full battery power indication. So I think it's now time to uh, take it for a test ride. What do you say?
And I think what we should do is actually take for a test drive to the shopping centre and back. Let's see if it'll actually make it all the way there and back without the warning. So as you can see, we've managed to ride the mobility scooter to the shops and back. Right now, I've switched it on and the charge is sitting on, just still in the green. So I'd say that's a pretty good outcome. Uh, the batteries certainly were a little bit sluggish on the way back, but it's got us all the way there and all the way back. So all in all, I'd say that uh, using this uh, C-Tech MXS 5.0 battery charger on the reconditioned mode of those two batteries has uh, certainly uh, been able to bring some life back into those batteries and uh, save $500 in replacement batteries as quoted by the scooter shop. As you can see, I managed to recondition the two 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries in this mobility scooter with my C-Tech MXS 5.0 battery charger. Furthermore, subsequent to this, my father has now successfully ridden this mobility scooter to the supermarket and back several times with no issues. If you thought this video was useful to you, I'd really appreciate your feedback, so please feel free to like it below, leave a comment and share it.